Shadow Chan here. For today's video, I'm actually going to do something a little different. Today I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on the English dub of Vampire Night. I got the disc a while ago and I decided to share my thoughts on the English dub and how the voice actors were compared to the Japanese sub. Now before I go into my thoughts and the story behind my picking it up, I want to show you guys the packaging. So here's the front cover. And the side. And here's the back. Now inside, I have to say I was very shocked to find a sample of the manga. Very cool. And here's the disc. It's secure, so it's not going anywhere, which is awesome. Now, when I first heard that Vampire Night was coming out on DVD, I was both excited and scared out of my mind. I was scared because I was so used to the Japanese voices because I had been watching the Japanese subbed online. Yes, I admit, I did watch it illegally, but I made up for it by actually purchasing the DVDs when they came out, so I made up for what I did. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. I went to Amazon and I saw a little preview video. I said, you know what, let me check it out because I always give these things a chance. So I clicked it. And I was listening to the video, and I was like, oh my god. This doesn't sound great. I was not impressed the first time I heard the voices for the English dubbed. But I wasn't going to just say, oh, screw it, it's a dub, it's going to stink, I'm not going to watch this, I'm not going to buy it. I always give English dubs a chance, even if they stink. I give them a chance. So I said, you know what, I still love Vampire Night regardless, I'm going to pick this up. So I ended up buying it, and when I got it, I threw it into the DVD player, and I started watching it. Now, right away, I had to say some of the voices just weren't working for me. They just didn't seem to fit the characters very well, and I was just like, oh man, I can't watch this anymore. Some examples, now not to say, now this is just a little disclaimer here, I have nothing against any of the voice actors who are working on this project, you guys all did an awesome job, so I'm not just saying, you know, you did terrible, this, you know, I'm not downgrading you or anything, I'm just saying that this is how I felt the voices were with the characters that I really enjoy watching in the Japanese version. Okay, so here's my little list of uh, the voice actors here. Okay, Mela Lee, who plays Yuki Cross. It's just one of those voices that just isn't working for me right now. It hasn't clicked, it hasn't said, this is Yuki Cross. It's just not something that's working for me. I've watched the first four episodes and I'm still not sold. Not to say that she did a terrible job, it's just not working right now. Maybe it'll work later on in the series. Another person I had a little bit of an issue with was Nathan Murray. Now, he does the voice of Kuron Kaname. In the first two episodes, I was like, no, this is not going to work. He d it definitely doesn't sound like him. I'm comparing it to the Japanese version. And I'm like, it definitely doesn't work. I mean, you know, here he sounds one way and here he sounds totally different. But when it got to episodes three and four, it finally clicked. It was like, you know what? This could actually work. It does sound great. So he turned it around in the third episode. So now it's actually a voice I can tolerate and I actually like it. So kudos. Another person I had a little bit of an issue with was Christopher Smith, who plays Headmaster Cross. Now, those of you who know the manga and have seen the anime know that he is a bubbly character. One minute, he's all over the place. Next minute, he's serious. And in the first two episodes, the voice just wasn't cutting it. It didn't really have the hyperness to it that he had in those episodes in the Japanese version. I was like, no, 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 this is not going to work. This is not his kind of voice. But like with Kaname, his voice did click for me in episodes 3 and 4. I was like, you know what, this works. But that seems to happen to me a lot in English dubs, like with Jiraiya's voice in Naruto. I didn't really like it in the beginning, and then it started to click. It was like, you know what, this is Jiraiya's voice, it sounds great, I can live with it. And that's how these two characters are for me in Vampire Night. Though I have to give two voice actors major kudos because both of them were awesome picks for their characters and those two voice actors were Vic Mignogna and Troy Baker who do uh, Zero 
and Akatsuki, respectively. Both of them, perfect choices, right on the nose. It sounds awesome. They were made for their characters. I can't say anything bad about their performance because there really isn't anything wrong with it. They definitely do fit the people they play. So, major kudos to both of you guys. Awesome job. Overall, I have to say that Vampire Night, the English dub, gets either a B plus or an A minus grade from me. Now that may seem a bit generous, but overall I have to say that they did pretty good. The performance of the voice actors and everything just worked. So it was a pretty good job for everybody. So I'm not disappointed in the slightest, but I'm sure you guys are wondering which one do I prefer? Do I prefer the English dub or the Japanese sub? And I have to tell you guys, in complete honesty, I prefer the Japanese sub. Not to say that I don't love the English dub, it's okay, but I prefer the subbed. So, for those of you who are fans of Vampire Night, get the disc, it's awesome. Don't be afraid because the Japanese voices are on here so you won't have to deal with annoying English dubs if you don't want to. So it's all in here. It's a decent price, so definitely pick it up if you're a fan of Vampire Night because we need to bring Vampire Night Guilty over here and they probably won't do it if Vampire Night doesn't sell. So pick up Vampire Night, awesome series, and that's my thoughts on the English dub. And I hope to do more videos like this in the future, so if you have anything you want me to do a review on, let me know and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!